Hey guys, it's Trish from Uncommon Designs, and I'm here today to talk to you about the mini Bodabra. Um, I don't know if you enjoy making holiday crafts. I know so many people who would like to, but they think that they can't. And that really is just simply not the case. Sometimes I think people just don't have the right supplies and the actual equipment to help them do really easy things like making bows. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make some smaller bows. I'm going to do one that's going to go on top of an ornament. And to do that, I'm going to use the mini Bodabra. And if you're wondering what it looks like, here it is. It's actually really small, but you'll be surprised about what all it can do. It's simply made of two parts, the actual Bodabra and then this mini Bodabra wand. Now to make a bow, you're going to need only a few supplies really. You need your Bodabra and the wand and you're also going to need some ribbon. Now the ribbon I'm using is actually, um, it is wired. It's a wired grow grain ribbon. You don't necessarily have to use wired um, but to me, when I'm doing a project like this, where I'd like the bow to be really full and be able to manipulate it a lot, I'm going to use a wired ribbon. The other thing that you're going to need is some wire, and this will help keep your big bow together. Now, I'm going to use the Bodabra bow wire. Um, it's actually really easy to use. It <clears throat> just comes off like this. And it actually, you know, has a little bit of a thin consistency of floral wire. Now, if you do not have the bow wire, that is no big deal at all. You can actually use ribbon that's pretty thin. You can use string or floral wire. Um, it's up to you. Now, let's get started making our bow. And the first thing you're going to do is cut a length of the bow wire and actually fold it in half. And you're simply gonna place it between these two little pieces right here. We're just gonna leave it there for just a little bit. Now make sure your mini bow wand is actually not in there. Okay, so then I'm gonna turn it around because when we put our ribbon in, we're actually gonna put it between the smaller opening. Now I have unraveled my ribbon, but you don't have to. I just think it's easier. Now the first thing I'm going to do is kind of just decide how big is my bow going to be. Now I'm using a fairly large ornament, but I don't want it to be huge because I would like for the actual bow and the ornament to be in a really good proportion to each other. So I think I'd like for it to be about this wide. So I'm going to start by simply placing it in here. And you're just going to fold it back and forth. See, I'm making a loop and I'm putting it back through that opening. And see, this is actually going to determine how big my bow is actually going to be. You do want to make sure that you're getting it even right here so your bow is not lopsided. And you can actually do as many loops as you want. That will determine the fullness of your actual bow. I think for me, I'm going to do three loops on each side. So that will give me a total of six. Now you can see that I'm just going back and forth and putting it down in here. Now if you're using ribbon that only has a pattern on one side, you are going to need to make sure to flip it over. You're just going to twist right here in this direction and then continue on your path. Every once in a while, you might want to give just a quick count to, make, to see where you are and see how things are going. 
Now I know now that I have all of the loops made that I need. I have three on each side. So I have that complete. And I'm going to take my mini bow damper wand and actually push it down. So have no fear, it's going to keep everything in place. Now, for me, I'm going to go ahead and just trim off the excess ribbon. Just so you guys can get a really good glimpse at this next step. I'm going to twist it around just a little bit to get a good view. And now you're going to take your bow wire. And if you see, I'm simply moving it over and I'm going to take this one and thread it through this side. Okay. And now I'm going to remove this. simply tie it off. I'm actually going to tie a double knot just to be sure. Now, of course, if you follow us online, you know that it's all in the details. So now it's time to do a little bit of fluffing. So you just simply take your fingers Put it through the loops. Just kind of stretch it out a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's what I like about this. Just kind of manipulate it until you get it the way you want it to be. And here we go. Isn't it beautiful? 